Back in June of 2021, Casey Hudson, one of the founding fathers of Mass Effect, announced he has started his own studio, Humanoid Origins, just six months after leaving Bioware. He announced the studio had changed its name from Humanoid Studios to Humanoid Origin, saying that in a world of AI-generated content, the creativity of our games originates with the talented humans on our team. And he also revealed some teasers for their upcoming new game. Additionally, in an interview from January, he spoke about their upcoming game and the importance of player experience, choice, and agency. Yeah, yeah, we're still being a little bit coy, a little secretive about what we're doing, but uh, certainly there are just aspects to the kinds of games that I've made and just the way that I like providing experiences for players that require a certain scale. The scale isn't the point, but the, there are experiential aspects about being able to decide where you want to go. Having really great characters, but the reason that you care about the characters is because you actually get to interact with them and develop relationships, which also there's a required agency and choice involved in that. And I love to create huge universes for people to feel like they're immersed in and can explore. And it, it's the universe revealing its story to you over time that that's, I think, part of the, the DNA of that kind of experience, which is important too. So all of these things kind of have a certain scope required of them. And then for those reasons, that's kind of why we continue to be ambitious in what we're trying to build. But it's all in, in service of these things that I think are really important in what I love to play in a game and also then the kind of experience that I want to provide for people. Well, ultimately, a dialogue system is really a means of interacting with characters. And when you look at the games that I've worked on from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to Mass Effect 1 and 2 and 3, at each time, it felt like we were making something that was, I don't know, known or expected in some way. But what was happening was there was an evolution going on there. And so I think what people ideally will sense is there is continuity of the expectations that you're going to be able to decide where you want to go and you're going to meet amazing characters and develop relationships with them and have these kinds of interaction systems, you know, whether it's dialogue or otherwise, but then to innovate each time. So that's certainly what we're looking to do here is thinking about what is the next version of the way we can interact with characters. He also talks about some Mass Effect stuff in this podcast as well. So check out the link below. But everything he said here sounds really promising. We know Hudson has been at the center of innovation and originality with his involvement in the creation of Mass Effect, so it'll be interesting to see what he does with Humanoid. And Humanoid is currently working on a multi-platform AAA title, focusing on character-driven narrative in an all-new science fiction universe. And I hate to compare everything Casey Hudson does to Mass Effect, but it's also kind of inevitable, considering he was one of the major creators that really came up with the idea in itself to even create Mass Effect. So with him now working to create a similar concept, it'll be interesting to see what he does after spending so many years on Mass Effect, and also with him now being unburdened by overhead from a parent company calling the shots, considering this is his own studio. And I think Humanoid has made it pretty clear that there won't be any hindering of any of their devs. In an interview with Cordy Reerson, Humanoid's chief operation officer from back in 2022, she said Humanoid Studios was founded on the axiom that creative freedom and independence lead to better, more innovative games. Our vision is that the future of entertainment is interactive. The most engaging entertainment involves worlds, characters, and storytelling. Innovation with tools and technology unlocks interactivity that feels magical. And people do their best creative work when they feel safe and supported. It's very clear from the website that creative freedom is extremely important. Their mission is delivering magical interactive storytelling by connecting talented creatives to powerful tools in a safe and supportive environment. And their foundation really seems to be built on this, empowering creative talented people. The similar sentiment is seen all around their site and like Hudson stated on his Twitter, in a world of AI-generated content, aka garbage, 
it's important to focus on human creativity. So I'm very excited to see what this looks like and how this manifests in their new game. The concept art that they've released is really beautiful and it's very clear they're establishing their own vision and style. And their art director is the amazing Isaac Moody. He has some really amazing futuristic stuff up on his art station and was behind a few of the images revealed when Humanoid was announced. Another one of their concept artists is Bill Zhang, who has some really interesting environmental work up on his portfolio. And we have Christopher Cow, who is a character artist and also did some work on Andromeda. And Andromeda's armors were one of its strong aspects. I really love the designs, so I'm excited to see him working on Humanoid. And the last two concept artists that I could find were Alexandra Troth and Bahao Wang, which are also helping to bring Humanoid's work to life. So there's some really amazing artists behind Humanoid, and the artwork that they've shown so far is enough to get me excited about this new sci-fi project. So let's look at some of it. Obviously, this is all early concepts, so these probably won't amount to much, but there's some really interesting things in them. This first image, which is the first image you see when you go to their site, is probably my favorite. It's very clear they're exploring some kind of alien ruins, and this piece looks like a massive alien skull. Whatever it is, it's really beautiful. And if it's the first thing we're supposed to see when it relates to their new concept of their new game, I'm all in. This next piece we have explores maybe gathering materials or something else from this planet transporting it. And I really love the ominous kind of spooky vibe. This next piece is really interesting because it's very futuristic. The sleek designs and sharp edges in contrast to the very circular ship hovering over the water remind me of Ralph McQuarrie and Sid Mead, whose work was both major inspirations for Star Wars. And in this piece, we see again some more futuristic, but also kind of modern looking communal area. It looks like a cafe or a bar, but this really reminds me of how people in the 70s and 80s expected today to look like this very sleek, futuristic style. We also see another piece of concept art that looks like a restaurant or a bar with huge open windows where you can see ships flying above and I really love this visual. So far, they're doing a good job of conveying the futuristic style while also adding their own spin on it. This additional picture looks like a dev is working on some concept art of specimens or plants in some kind of capsules. And this next picture is some kind of tropical cityscape. We see a city in the background with some very high rise buildings and a very active nightlife. Another image here has some really interesting curvatures to the buildings and honestly kind of reminds me of Starfield, but I really love the bright colors being used. And also we have this other image, which looks like something in a weird alien looking capsule, definitely doesn't look human made. And my favorite piece is this woman in a spacesuit and helmet. And I actually love that the helmet is just what looks like a regular fishbowl. You can see everything inside and outside. I also really love the sleekness of the suit. Just a really pretty atmospheric shot. Obviously, these are all early concepts. So it'll be interesting to see how the game and concept evolves and come back and look at these when we finally learn more about their game. It's still very much in the early phases of development and they're still hiring, but they've got some pretty good names on their roster already, some of which Bioware fans are probably familiar with. So let's look at some of the employees currently at Humanoid, many of which previously worked at Bioware. There are some pretty big names in here, probably the biggest being Caroline Livingston, who left Bioware to join Hudson over at Humanoid. She's the performance director at Humanoid but was previously the voiceover and mocap director slash producer. She was behind Commander Shepard and the amazing voice acting of many iconic Dragon Age and Mass Effect games. If you've watched any of the Mass Effect cast reunions of N7 Day, she used to be a part of those, and her passion and talent was really, really apparent. I'm sad she won't be involved in the next Mass Effect game, but I'm excited to see what she does over at Humanoid. Another familiar name is Nick Thornborough, who created some of the most iconic visuals in the Dragon Age franchise. He's an amazing artist, and he had been at Bioware for 15 years. And he also left Bioware to join Humanoid a little over a year ago and is currently their cinematic lead. 
And Paul Dutton is the creative director at Humanoid Origin, and he worked at Bioware for six years and has been at Humanoid since November of 2021. He was the director of animation and cinematography for Dragon Age. And Dragon Age has some pretty amazing cinematics. So it's exciting to see him working on Humanoid's new title. Melanie Faulkner is also Humanoid's principal lead producer, having previously been at Bioware for over 11 years. She was a producer on Legendary Edition and multiple Mass Effect and Dragon Age games. She also left Bioware to join Hudson. Amanda Klesko is also over at Humanoid and was previously at Bioware for six years. She is currently Humanoid's narrative producer after working on Mass Effect 5 for about a year. So Humanoid's new game must be pretty exciting to leave Mass Effect 5 for it. And there's more ex-Bioware devs that are more on the QA and technical side of the development team. And I'm only bringing up their connections to Bioware because a lot of these people previously worked with Casey Hudson at Bioware. And it's clear they moved over for a reason. And while there isn't a ton of information out right now about Humanoid, their lead writer is Tony Elias, who worked on Middle Earth, Shadow of War, and Wonder Woman before moving to Humanoid in 2022. And another one of their writers is J.S. Dews, who is a successful sci-fi author, and she even shared some additional Humanoid concept art up on her blog. In an interview from last year, she said she liked Mass Effect because of how much it devastated her. So I expect some heartache coming in Humanoid's upcoming game as well. I genuinely think Humanoid definitely sounds like it could be a major contender for future RPGs that have a similar focus like Bioware does, specifically on player choice and agency and a heavy character-driven story. So it will be interesting to see what this means going forward. We've already seen a shift from Baldur's Gate 3 with more people wanting these type of games. And I hope Humanoid's project can have an impact on the industry as well. Competition is a good thing and more RPGs for players are even better. So yes, I'm very excited to see what Humanoid comes up with. And I love to see such a focus on uplifting and centering their creative devs. And also very excited to see more sci-fi games. Between this, Exodus, and Mass Effect 5, the future of sci-fi games is bright. And I'm especially excited to see what Humanoid does with their narrative team and art team, considering the actual team behind this project is so solid. But Humanoid was only founded in 2021, so I don't expect a release from them for a while. Maybe 2026, 2027 at the earliest? So it will be interesting to see where they end up release-wise. Between this, Exodus, and Mass Effect 5, I expect Exodus soon, within a year. Humanoid a few years after that, and then Mass Effect 5. So sci-fi RPG fans will have a stream of consistent games to look forward to, hopefully. But if you're interested in their future content, make sure to subscribe to see any and all news around all of these upcoming sci-fi titles. Let me know what you think of Humanoid's mission statement and concept art in the comments, and thank you for watching.